So, hey Thor, you want to make some emojis? <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to work in Illustrator, and I haven't worked in Illustrator in quite a while. I used to do it all the time, but uh, it's it's been like literally a few years since I've done it. And uh, this one we're just going to be working on uh, some, some basic emojis, and I, I wanted to do this because I want to turn my little um, logo, the dog, into an emoji as well, just kind of for fun. But I figured I'd start off with something basic, and I'm not even going to be using my, my drawing tablet, so this is something you can do on your own computer using your mouse because the mouse is the only thing I'm going to be using today. So let's get started. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a circle and just holding my shift key down I'm going to make a nice big circle and that's in a gradient so but I want to turn this into let's go orangey. Well we'll start off orange and I'll go over here to my uh, my color slides and I like to work in hue saturation uh, brightness and the reason is is I can easily leave it in this hue which is this this tone of orange right or this color orange and I can move this back and forth this saturation and I can move the darkness brighter and lighter so that's what I'm going to be doing right here is working in this and I'm going to move this towards the yellow because a lot of these emojis are more yellow but I want to keep this kind of dark and I think right in there that's pretty good so the next thing I want to do is grab another circle and make the circle kind of in here. And I use my space bar to kind of move this circle around right like that, but I'm using my shift key to uh, to make it a, a level circle. So I put it in here, and obviously it's the same color, so I want to change the color, go back up here, and I'm going to go towards my yellow hue right in there. I want that very bright, just like that. I'm going to select both of these circles, go up to Object, Blend, Make, and there we have it. So that's pretty good. The next part of it that I'm going to do is I'm going to add that shine. So I'm going to grab another circle. This time it's going to be more elliptical. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to be using my shift key because as soon as I hit shift you can see it turns it into a circle but I'm still going to be using my space bar so I can kind of move it around a little bit make sure I kind of get that that width that I want right about there and then I'm going to go up to this tool what is this called again the direct select tool hover over the top of here and pull this up a little bit and that's what I'm looking for. I want to add a gradient. So I come over to my gradient, add that, and I want this to be yeah, linear. I want that to be linear, but I'm going to do minus 90. And that's going to bring this light colored area down here. Now, I can move this slider all the way this way um, if I want to, or I can move it this way. We're going to move it here so you can kind of see what the effect is going to be. After I do this, I'm going to go up to my color again. I want to change this to CMYK, and I'm going to move all of these over to the right. And then after that, I'm going to come back in to my transparency. And then I'm going to change this to screen. And that's the way it looks right there. So you can see I have a little edge here. You can leave that if you want to. Or if you want to come back into your uh, gradient you can move that black over a little bit and you can kind of see that it pulls that white up a little bit like that hi Jake <laughs> it's my cat so uh, that's my cat <laughs> so my cat likes to yell and then my dog likes to uh, bother me and uh, say hi Thor yeah, this is Thor. Say hi, Thor. Okay, so we're we're back, and uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so we can leave this ball uh, just like this if you want to. Another thing that you can do is we could take this um, this part, and I'm gonna hit Command C, Shift Command V, and I basically just copied it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go up to Object, Transform. 
uh, rotate, and I'm going to rotate this all the way around la 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 there we go right about in there and I'm gonna bring this down to the bottom so you could have a shine on the top and the bottom but I don't want the shine to be as, as strong as this one up here so I'm gonna take my little selection tool here I'm gonna pull this down a little bit just like this like that so now you can have some shine on the top and the bottom as you can see there's that little line again so if we want we can pull that back just like that and you can always mess with uh, the the transparency here and the opacity within that and that's pretty much how you make a nice shiny ball so uh, what if you want to mess with the color of the ball um, I'm just gonna select the whole ball do a command C comm uh, shift command V and that just copies it. I'm gonna bring it over here. Then I'm going to select these two these two balls that have that that blend to them. And I'm going to go back to object, blend, and I'm gonna hit release. So that kind of releases them uh, from each other. I'm gonna hit this ball here. Go to let's go into the reds. So then I grab this ball center ball and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker right in there then I'm gonna hit select both the balls just place the balls object blend make and there we have it a red one so you can do that with different colors if you want so after you have the balls made uh, you can do whatever you want to with the faces so if I want to make something very simple I can grab this circle tool and then let's give it um, a transparency hitting radial here and I'm gonna turn this white I'm just double clicking on the white and we go a little bit darker darker brown turn this back to HSB that middle like that there we go saturate it a little bit more that's pretty good so I have that if I want to do um, add a little stroke to it come up here to stroke and you can mess with the size of course and then let's bring it down here a little bit and this is all in taste, whatever you want to do. Maybe I don't like that. Maybe I want to go opposite. So actually that looks a little bit better, I think. And I'll bring the brown over here a little bit. And I don't want that to go totally black. So let's make that a little bit more brown. There we go. Then Command C, Shift Command V. Same thing, Command V. I have another one. Now you have a basic uh, uh, emoticon. I go up here to this uh, tool. I could even kind of mess around. I want to make him have a smile. And there you have it. Quick little emoticon. So this is Chewy. Say hi, Chewy. Say hi, Chewy. So uh, you might be able to tell, but uh, Chewy, is, the logo is uh, sort of based on Chewy too. Huh. Okay. So now I'm going to mess around and see if I can turn my dog logo into uh, its own little emoticon.
so that's it for making your own emojis and I hope you guys will comment and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up. I'm a big Rottweiler, I'm mean and scary. I also have my children's book on Amazon.com right now and I'll leave a link in the description. I hope you guys will take a look at that. Otherwise, say bye Thor. See you guys later. <laughs> You're sad.